Entonces, Chino. I am humbled and I am very happy that the organization with the highest moral credibility in the Cuban exile community has given me their its endorsement. It's very satisfying, it's very gratifying, it makes me feel really good. And it sends a message to those that thought at one point that I was a communist, ha ha ha. I have been on the blacklist for the last 25 years. The Cuban government really dislikes me for a reason, because I've always called out on them and I've always, uh, I've always said that they are a repressive and totalitarian regime and they need to change their policies towards the Cuban people. I believe that uh, Donald Trump, you have to respect him, but you have to pay more attention to what he does than to what he says. Trump definitely is a controversial figure, but I believe that some of the policies that he has established have been very good, not only for the country, but for my community, District Number 27. And I believe that every public servant should follow um, the line that if he does something good for your people, then you have to applaud him. But if, he, if his policies are not according to my district's interest, then you have to call out on him. And you have to say that, doesn't, that, that is not good for the people that I'm representing. I like what he's done with the economy. We're growing at 4%. I like what he's done the banks are lending more money to small business I like what he's done with North Korea with Cuba with Venezuela and with Nicaragua I do not like what he's done with immigration there are some aspects of the immigration policy established um, by the White House that need to be rectified and changed now do you think if you win uh, more Republicans will start to see journalists less of less as enemies of the people like the president said? The, 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 the journalists, we, 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 you, us, we're not the, uh, the enemies of the people. The president in that regard is not correct. What is also true is that some of us in this profession, we have allowed for our feelings towards the president to show we need to be impartial. You have to do that with every single story that you cover. That is what makes you a very good journalist. That is what makes you earn the respect from the audience. If you don't do that, then you're not a journalist. You're a commentator. So Jorge Ramos is a commentator? He is a commentator.